Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike. Today's compliment is that you look like a brat stole. I like this because for me to summarize 2020 is to say, I don't like it. There's something in that, just not for me. I don't, didn't really prepare for it. Remember when I said this? If you thought we thrived in 2019, oof, 2020 is our year. Yeah. <laughs> When I'd got in there, I realised that actually this is serious stuff. Of course, to start with, we need to go through the tiers. At the top, we have 2009. Now, I've made an entire video about 2009 and how much of a cultural reset it was. Just so much great stuff, so much great music, movies, TV. 2009 beautiful, love it, best of the best. Next we have 2011. This is second purely because I have an attachment to 2011 because it's the first time I left the country and went to Italy and had traumatic but fun experiences. Excuse me, honey, but nobody's in my lane. To refresh your memory, that's the trip that my parents thought I was being kidnapped because I butt dialed them while on bumper cars. Crash. Crash. And it's also the same trip that the police stole someone's money and someone broke their arm on a Segway. In the middle, we have 2016. 2016, if I think about it, I'm like, boom, 2016, positive. Not much to go off. Hello. But it's also not bad. So I think that's very much middle ground. Next, we have 2015 and I simply cannot remember anything. I like, I'm trying to think of one single thing that happened in 2015. I was at uni. Maybe it was the year that I was working at the call center. I honestly don't know. He has no lips. How will he get a kiss kiss? Then at the bottom, the absolute trash dumpster fire tier. That is 2020. Do I need to explain myself? All I need to say about that is I have been out of my apartment for nearly four months with the possibility of an apple on the bench. I joke about that, but I'm genuinely worried. I think these are all pre-2010. I love a flip phone, I love a slide phone, I love a Blackberry. So here we have Beyonce with the fun little pink moment. I think this is 2011 tier because hello, it's Beyonce. So it automatically cannot be lower than halfway. You are Beyonce. Thank and, you. and just the way she's holding it is very much like, I'm paid to do this. Next we have this picture of Katy Perry with Mark Zuckerberg and some other man I don't know. This is cursed, this picture, because I do not know if it's real or not. Because the angle of her hands, right? Please sir, may I have some more? The angle of her hands is like this and the phones are like, so are you telling me the phone, it's like this? Like, it just, it doth not make sense. Overall summary of that picture is I do not like it. It stresses me out, therefore it's 2020. Wow, I do not like it, it stresses me out. That is 2020. In the 2009 tier, we're gonna put a picture of Sean Combs. This right here. When I saw this photo the first time, I was like, it's just so cool. Like here we have Christina Aguilera with the old one, two, double phone moment. This must've been during her Candyman era. Things I like about this photo are her hairstyle, how she looks like she teleported out of the 50s, but hopefully without all of the misogyny and racism. This here is, I don't think I like the energy that's coming from this one. What is happening? This is Mr. Bono, who I actually saw in concert last year. My last concert before five letters, two numbers happened was a U2 concert. Hmm. Are they his hands holding the phones or is there just two people going like, and then if it's his hands, why did he choose to do that? However, I love a little bit of chaos. So thus it's better than 2020. Here we have a photo that to me is extremely iconic. It's very beautiful to me. Miss Kim and Miss Paris with their phones at a table when I think this was the Kim Kardashian assistant to Paris Hilton era. Side note, the whole Paris Hilton, Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan situation in like 2006 or seven, I think it was, explosive. Whoa, so much drama. It's like Hunger Games, but pop culture. I want a TV show about it. Mr. Flix, Netflix, first name, second name, Mr. Net. Can you please make a show about that? I would watch that 100%. This picture of Avril Lavigne, straight to 2020. I, this, mm. She said, 
brand deal. <laughs> I think it's the difference in focus, what's on the phone, her just, I don't know. There's just something very 2020 about that. I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a bitch, 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 I'm a bitch. So I have two Tom Cruise pictures here. There's Tom Cruise with the antenna and then Tom Cruise with the pink phone. Now, I think Tom Cruise with the pink phone has a slightly better feeling to it. It feels like it's 2011. Tom Cruise with the antenna is 2016. How crazy that phone should have antennas. Side note, actually this is a perfect segue. Tomorrow's episode of my podcast, Jumping in the Elevator, available in the links in the description, is about wireless, all things wireless, how Wi-Fi works, how mobile data works, all that kind of stuff. And I kind of snapped on it and it's going up tomorrow. So get ready for that. This one here is Spike Lee and Chris Rock. This is great. And let me tell you why. Are they on the phone to each other? Maybe, you don't know that. The orange and the purple, I love orange and purple together. This photo was for me. But why is it not 2009? It should be, I don't know why it isn't. Let's just move that. <laughs> this one here, Mr. Cube, I, it's not even a phone. I don't even know how it made it into the tier list, but it's fun, right? It's such a, like, it's fun. Like he's like, look at my, I need to hold something else. Look at my iPod. Is that even an iPod? No, it's an MP3 player. MP3 Slayer. This one here is Paris with the horse mullet. And I'm seeing a resurgence in mullets. And I used to be very anti-mullet because in Australia, mullets have always been a thing. And when you'd see a dirty mullet in like 2016, 2017, you're like, that was a choice. But now it's kind of becoming fashionable again and I'm starting to see people with this hair and I am very conflicted about it. You know what? No, I am gonna change that. You wanna know what? No, I am gonna leave. This is going to 2011 tier because we should be embracing how chaotic it is. The mullet with the bejeweled, bedazzled phone. This picture of Cameron Diaz, is she laughing at the thing she's taking a photo of? Or is she holding the phone up because she has bad eyesight and she's laughing at what she's seeing on the phone? But then also, that phone can it even take photos. If she's looking at something and laughing, what could she possibly be looking at? There's just, there's a lot of variables, but I don't hate it. So it's middle ground. This picture of Britney Spears is 2015 tier. Nothing against Britney Spears, love Britney Spears. There's just, I don't know, like what's, what's on the, what's happening on the phone? Is she getting a call? I was looking at that and then all of a sudden, I'm just thinking she's on the phone to Madonna, which would explain why she's so concerned. Next we have the Chris duo. What is his last name? Chris Pine? No, Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt, yeah. I think the green one goes higher though, because that phone looks like so much fun, right? What's happening there? Like, is that for playing games? Let me play games on your phone, Chris Pratt. This one here is 2016 tier. I don't know what to say about it. Kanye West and Donatella. Donatella. Now I've just gone and done something stupid and I've put that in the 2016 tier. When in fact, I think it should be higher because does that phone have a mirror on the back or are they just blindly like, like it's, you know, also the finger work to be able to like take the photo. I'm, I'm impressed Kanye. So we're gonna bump that to 2011, 2016. This picture of Eva Longoria is 2015 because She's on the phone, on the red carpet, and even if this was promo for the phone, that's stressful, and I'm stressed for her, and therefore, it's 2015. This picture of Cameron, that is so, that is absolute 2009 tier. The coolness, if something's like hot, it's like heat, but if something's cold, it's cool, right? It's like frozen. The frozenity of this image. Rihanna on the phone, big necklace, 2016. This picture of Selena Gomez is 2020 tier. This photo, I'm like, Selena, correct that posture. As someone with problematic posture, when I see bad posture, I think the international implications of this. Like I know Miss Gomez can definitely afford a physio, but I just think if she straightened her back, she wouldn't have those complications later. Why am I talking to this photo like it's not 15 years old? Raven Simone on, I think that's, is that Kimora Lee Simmons brand, Baby Fat? I think that's 2016. I absolutely love this photo. It's so early 2000s. It makes me want to scream, but in a good way. And it also reminds me 
of Lady Marmalade, which I loved. And also, it reminds me that Pink and Christina Aguilera had beef in the early days. So putting them in the same tier is like a little bit of like, ooh, what's gonna happen? Side note, those low rise jeans are just very stressful. If it was just, if we were like doing it based on jeans, those would be 2020. Same thing with Mr. Cube. Here we have John Krasinski holding an iPod. Don't know why it made it in here. He looks like very Jim from the office in this, even though he is Jim from the office. This photo seems like more Jim from the office than John Krasinski. This photo of Mariah Carey, is it 2020? No. Is it 2015? No. Is it 2016? No. Is it 2011? Also, no, it's 29. 29? Like, you, you can just tell that Mariah thinks she's top shit and she's right and she should say it. She's got a point. She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. Now, come on now. Lindsay Lohan at a T-Mobile event. I think that's the sidekick. Very quintessential noughties. It's going into the 2011 tier. I enjoy the art direction. It's absolute 2011. Here we have Fergie with her sidekick as well. Loving the glasses, loving the vibes, loving that green. That green's very early 2000s, absolute 2009. Brenda Song, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Go on, give us everything. Next we have Kim Kardashian with her whatever phone that is. It's pretty much the exact same photo as the Brenda Song photo, but I like Brenda Song more. <laughs> then the last photo is this absolute gem, and this is going straight to 2009. So, yep, you heard it here first. Sean Combs has two for two, 2009 here. Like, what a photo. Oh my God. That should be a phone, what are they called? Phone paper. What the fuck are they called? Phone. Phone paper? Phone wallpaper, that doesn't sound right. Screen. <laughs> the pinstripe suit, the look away, the glasses, the toothpick, the phone, the, yes. I've taken care of the mission. Beyonce and Jay-Z in the background, the sir behind Beyonce, Jay-Z scratching, Beyonce looking like, yeah. You are Beyonce. Thank and you. So there you go, 34 pictures of celebrities pre-2010 holding their phones ranked. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. If you got something to say, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace out. Bye. It's Christmas, let's go home. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. <laughs>